Good evening. Good evening, dear brothers and sisters. It's such a privilege to be among you. I am alone, but I represent the biggest democratic parliament in the world, the European Parliament. <laughs> And uh, I brought a message to you, signed by 265 members of the European Parliament to support Iranian opposition. <clears throat> you know, we have, for many years, the group of Friends of Free Iran in the European Parliament. I am one of the Vice Presidents, and I am the only acting member of the European Parliament who has visited Ashraf. <coughs> but we, we, have, we call in our document, which we have distributed and presented to you, to put revolutionary guards on terrorist lists because of the deeds, to call United Nations to investigate massacre of 30,000 political prisoners in 1988, to stop death penalties, and to support the 10-point program of Marian Rajavi. Therefore, today, there is no excuse for continuing to cherish illusions about moderate dictators, ignoring their bloody hands. Real politic, pragmatic interests at the cost of principles have always failed, and it's the last utmost time for European politicians to learn this. Some days ago, a wonderful American politician, Nikki Haley, who represents U.S. in Security Council, compared Iranian regime to a scorpion, who, despite nice promises to a frog, remains true to its murderous nature. It stinks. And Iranian regime has supported another scorpion, the Assad regime. We must be clear about it in Europe. Today, there's no doubt anymore that the regime is creaking in all seams, that this, this collapse is imminent. I have seen the collapse of the Soviet Union now 26 years ago, and nobody believed in it that time. Now, today, there's no question whether the Iranian regime would collapse. The question is in time and the price, because every additional day of the rule of this regime means hundreds of lives, hundreds of people murdered, tortured, arrested. And we have to present the question, can we afford such a cost. Therefore, today, the, losing, the slogan is not as soon as possible, but sooner as possible. We can do it. <clears throat> and thank you. And my special, my special thanks to all of you who have come here all around the world. It was difficult, but it is worthwhile. A special greetings to our family friends in Ashraf. I think the most wonderful thing I saw today was their smiles from Ashraf. Smiles to know at what cost, the cost of terror, the cost of threats, the cost of anguish, but these were victorious smiles and we see smiles, we are going to win. Thank you.